So, what's going on people? I have one of those other pairs of shoes that I haven't touched in a long time. Cause remember I said that I'm going to go back and take the ones that I haven't quite worn just yet, do some reviews on those because why not? In a lot of cases, some of these are shoes that a lot of people like, sometimes not so much. You'll see a little bit of that later, but today it's going to be one of these. It's a Dornbecker box. I got a couple of these. Well, actually literally just a couple because I only have the two. I got these and a pair of Air Maxes out there, a pair of Zeros. Not the most popular model, but I like them. They got a nice little look to them. They're all one piece if you've ever seen them up close. Pretty nice. Maybe you'll see those later. I don't know. Probably not here, but we'll see what happens. As for this, though, as for this. So, like I said, this is going to be a pair of Jordans. You saw it in the thumbnail and all that good stuff. And actually, today was the first day that I've worn a pair of Jordans since, like, forever. I had to do some digging back through the Instagram things and whatnot. November 11th, for those curious, it was the day I was in somewhere up in Seoul, and I don't remember what I was picking up, but I remember it was raining because I had on those winterized 12s. But anyways, so let's go ahead and talk about what's going on in here, right? Now, a lot of you guys know that the Dornbecker series isn't always the easiest to come by, right? Because, I mean, they're out there, they're trying to just make money and make awareness for, like, the kids with their illnesses and all that good stuff. But then there's the other side of things where people are trying to get them, often for resale and whatnot. Now, when this particular pair came out, I didn't know anything about all that stuff. I just knew that, hey, that's a cool looking shoe and I wouldn't mind having it. And that was as far as it went for me, and it still is for the most part. So being that I was able to walk away with these, looking at it now, for almost four years later, I kind of see that I got pretty lucky because I logged in, I was on the sneakers thing, right? And it pops up like, okay, now it's 10 o'clock or 8 o'clock, given that this was New Mexico time, time to click on this thing and make this happen, right? So I click on it and it goes through, it says, all right, processing, you're in line, all that good stuff that you've always seen, usually before it says you didn't get them. Well, moments later, it said, got him. And I was like, all right, cool. That's how that's supposed to work. So no problem. Apparently, that's not usually how that works for most people because these, these were, a, I won't say they were a tough one to get, but I do see a couple of them out there and they're still going for a pretty decent price online. So there must be some amount of sought afterness to them, right? So let's go ahead and get into this. First off, there's that, all that stuff on the side. I don't remember anything about how much these cost. I'm guessing 190. Yeah, 190. So let's go actually real quick. Since this is for a particular reason, that kid right there, that's the guy who designed these shoes and he has whatever illness is listed on here, which is hemophilia a severe. So doesn't quite say what exactly that is but as you know with the Dornbecker series all six of the kids I think it's six every year they have their own things that are going on sometimes it's epilepsy sometimes it's maybe like heart diseases it kind of sucks but it's cool that they get to go and design shoes that are often really awesome right so anyways let's go ahead and look at these pull out the right one and of course the left one now honestly i don't even i have never put even put these on i'm not even sure if they've both made it out of the box before or at all i think i may have just opened it and looked in there like oh yeah that is kind of cool but anyway so looking at these now everything seems to be looking pretty good on them but we're going to do the typical review style review that we do because that's the thing that makes sense so Across the bottom, this here is the main part that got me, right? Let's close that this way so you can kind of get a look, better look at that. See that? It's this whole design, a lot of the things that we'll get into is built off of this kid liking guitar, right? And I like guitar too. I've been playing guitar since, what, 2012? Bass since maybe, what, 2003? So yeah. I'm also wearing a, an anti fly shirt. You know, it's one of my favorite bands. I don't know any of their songs, but maybe one day that'll change. Anyway, so across the bottom here, you've got, I guess that's kind of supposed to be a cartoon version of him. It's got a little guitar on there. And that says, what does that say? I don't know. S-U-E-X-P-O. The first of all, it said suplex, but it'd be misspelled. So there we go. You got to look at both of them. Right, gotta look at the whole picture sometime to get what's going on. Super 
explosive. Super explosive, that's what's going on. So he got a little mirrored image between him over here and him over there. So you got that going on, pretty nice. But one of the other things is that it has this nice icy outsole that some people do not like because it can yellow over time. Now, I haven't had that happen, but again, I've only been doing this for so long. If you wanna ask some real opinions, maybe P-Town or something, he's been doing this since like the dawn of time. So he might have a little extra for you. Jeezy, of course, same thing. Me, hey, it is what it is. So anyways, moving on past that, back up to this here midsole there. You got a lot of colors going on. Well, not a lot, but you got the three. So you got a little bit of gold tips here off of the arches and all that. Some kind of a grayish color behind the midsole there. And then the black. And then moving on past that, one of the things that I also like about this, because it kind of reminds me of certain guitar finishes, is this. Like the way the red and the black upper is. Kind of got like a distressed sort of look going on. So that's one of the things that I also, like I said, was really into. Everything about this particular shoe, I was like, man, like, I hope I can get that. Looking back at it, I, I feel a little more thankful that I did because, again, I didn't realize how tough it could be. But anyway, so just looking at the overall finish of this thing, it's kind of hard to get some of these details in, in the camera. But you can kind of tell here, you've got some kind of weird glossy overlay thing. When you're not... When you don't have the right lighting, you can't quite see all that. But there you go. It's kind of all around here. Got a little piece of plastic over this jump man here to kind of keep that from getting scratched up and everything. But then moving on again, just from the front here. Got the guitar pick on the tip there of the laces. DJP, I'm assuming those are his initials. And then up top on the top of the tongue, the standard Jordan that you see on... Actually, I don't know if that's the standard thing on 7s or not. I, I haven't worn a pair of 7s in a while. But then moving on past that, you got just the overall, the black and the red. Just Well, it's more of a maroonish color. Just goes very well together. And then on the back, again, with the DJP. And this is a pretty nice touch here. You can kind of tell it's got like some different colors going on in there, depending on the angle. Because some of this looks like it's blue, some of it looks like it's not. But again, it's just based off of the lighting and everything. And yeah, you can't quite see what I'm saying necessarily, but I'm trying to. Nope, it's just not going to work. But take my word for it, it's not all just gold and yellow. If you look at it from the right side, it looks like a little bit of a turquoise, a little bit of a purple, maybe some fuchsia. All that stuff's going on in there, so that's cool too. And then... Across the inside here, it's typical sock liner. Oh, gold lace tips, nice touch. But yeah, typical sock liner that you see on the Jordan 7s. Now, I don't know where the 7s stand for a lot of you guys, but for me, they're they're pretty up there. I don't know why, it's just, maybe it's because this was one of the first models that I bought, but I just think it's a pretty cool look. The, the 5s, the 7s, the 12s, those are probably my favorites. Not in that order, obviously, but they are. But um, moving on past that, I don't really have a whole lot else to say about this. Like I said, it's the Doran Becker 7. I was able to get this, luckily, for retail back in 2016, I guess. And one of these days, I'm going to have to break these out. The, the huge part of why I didn't wear them initially, because I'm not one of those, like, I, I'm buying it just to hold on to it, you know, for the right time or anything like that. There's no right time, in my opinion. I just didn't want to mess this up a whole lot. Because I was living in New Mexico where it's pretty much just the desert, right? If you've ever seen the Roadrunner and Wile E. Coyote, like what's going on in the background when they're chasing each other, that is where I lived. So you're talking like sand and rocks everywhere. I know that there's shoes, you're going to mess them up, it happens, but you don't have to go out of your way to do it, you know what I'm saying? I try to keep things looking pretty decent if I can. But now that I'm living in the real world and back in civilization, if you will, now everything's on the table which is why i was out earlier today in those shadow ones right not in the best of conditions honestly but it is what it is you know so there we have it ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching i do appreciate it as i said before birthday's coming up so if you want to do a solid for me go ahead 
click the playlist, let those just run on through so I can get that ad money rolling in. It's not a whole lot because this is a small deal, but it's nice to get it, right? So if you could do that for me, I'd super appreciate it, just like I appreciate you. So until next time, whenever that happens to be, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are, and I will be back eventually. Later, people.